Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we're gonna be covering all of the latest updates with the brand new Pokemon reveal. It was teased yesterday. We covered it on the channel. There was the countdown. We guessed it was gonna be at 2 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time today, and it looks as though that is what is gonna be happening. But before we jump into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always subscribe at a later date if you would like to. But it has just ticked over to two o'clock. Let's refresh the page. 999, it is happening. Let's have a look. Hey, Jacques, thanks for sending me that video. I think this okay. might just be the Pokemon I've been hearing so much about. Trainers from all over have reported sightings. Uh, I've got to say, Professor, I'm surprised Gimme Ghoul's showing up in your neck of the woods. Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul. So that's I love that this, this is a joint thing between Pokemon Go and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It hides and actually be part of its body. It also carries the same type of coin trainers have been finding. That's right. In Paldea, I've seen some Gimme Ghoul that hide in treasure chests, and some that don't. Hmm. The ones hiding in chests are new to me. The fascinating part is, as far as I know, no one's ever caught a Gimme Ghoul that's not in a chest. The second you get near, they hightail it out of there, dropping a coin as they flee. I don't think we've seen them act like that over here. You know, there's actually an interesting story about Gimme Ghoul and its coins. Okay. Let's take a look. Here's an old, strange tale involving a mysterious coin. Once upon a time, a young girl was out on a walk when she picked up a coin. Clink, there's another, said the girl. Wait, what's that? When the mysterious being noticed the girl, it fled through a nearby door. I love this animation style as well. And came Very cool. A treasure chest. But the mysterious being lurked nearby, staring intently at the girl. The treasure chest opened quietly, and whatever was inside met the girl's gaze. The girl put a coin into the treasure chest. One. She picked up another coin and put it into the chest. Two. Once again, she picked up a coin and put it into the chest. Three. Eventually, the chest came to be full of coins. 997, 998, 999. I wonder if that's how many you're gonna have to cat and collect in game to actually fully evolve it, potentially. It's a lot of coins to collect. A thousand. That'll take ages in game. We'll huh? find out though. What am I doing with all these coins? The girl wondered. Now who or what had been so intent on gathering them? Here we go. Oh, I was hoping for a reveal. I it's a cool story, though. This Pokemon. Very I cool. So. It seems to suggest that Gimme Ghoul hiding in treasure chests don't move on their own. They just manipulate people into gathering coins for them. On the other hand, Gimme Ghoul without treasure chests don't seem to manipulate people. Huh. Perhaps they're able to go searching on their own. It's very odd for Pokemon of the same species to behave so differently, don't you think? Since they're behaving so differently, maybe we ought to consider them separate forms. What do you think? Should we name them? The chest ke seems kind of sinister, see. really, like ma manipulating people to collect coins for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's very straightforward. As for the one that walks around, how about roaming the form? The roaming form. <laughs> I like it. So you've never heard of anyone catching a roaming form gimme ghoul in Paldea, right? Yep. yep. But out where you are, they don't run away? You said they just tag along near people who picked up coins. Right. If trainers out here use that behavior to their advantage, they might be able to catch it. What an exciting research opportunity. Is there anything else you can tell me about Gimme Ghoul? I'd be happy to tell you everything I know, and I'll do what I can to help you catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul. Thank you. And I'm sure trainers will also appreciate your help. Now, about those coins. Uh, whoops. There's the bell. 
Time for class. Sorry, Professor. Gotta run. Before you go... Uh... Oh well, that's Jacques. And that's it. Always dancing to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> I ought to send him a thank you gift for his help with Gimme Ghoul. Maybe a nice postcard. Okay. There is another trailer though. I think it might not be the same one. Here we go. Okay. We'll find out a bit more about Gimme Ghoul in game in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Got some new gameplay as well, which is very cool. Pyro Lycan Rock. And there's the chest itself, the chest form. Gimme cool. I do love it. I do really love it. It's very cool. Pure ghost type. Ooh, what's that move? Is that a signature attack? They're tiny. They're tiny. Wow. The roaming form is so small. I didn't expect it to be that small. They were pretty small in Pokemon Go, but didn't expect it to be that small. Okay. I wonder if there's anything on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website now. I've just got the one form there. So the chest form is what they've got. Gimme Ghoul, chest form, coin chest Pokemon Go. So we went through all the details before. Ability rattled. It hides inside the treasure chest and moves slowly. These Gimme Ghoul hide inside sturdy treasure chests. While this provides them with a solid defense, the treasure chest weight causes Gimme Ghoul to move slowly, making travel difficult. It is not uncommon for chest form Gimme Ghoul to be mistaken for an antique and taken home or sold at an antique store. Gimme Ghoul can controls people and Pokemon, making them collect coins. When Gimme Ghoul senses a person or Pokemon draw near it, ambushes them, it then uses ghost energy to control its target, forcing them to collect coins. Because it often hides in warehouses, shop corners, and other places people and Pokemon don't frequent, it tends to keep persistent control of those it does manage to encounter. So kind of possession-based Pokemon a little bit. Gimme Ghoul's roaming form. It seems like Gimme Ghoul has a second form called roaming form Gimme Ghoul. This kind of Gimme Ghoul doesn't hide in a treasure chest. It's small, it carries a single coin on its back and can be found hiding all over Paldea. However, since they run away as soon as a person approaches it, it seems not a single trainer in Paldea has ever managed to catch one. Surprisingly, Roman form Gimme Ghoul have been spotted in the world of Pokemon Go as well. It appears that Mr. Jack, an expert on the biology of Pokemon in Paldea region, and Professor Willow, who have been carrying out research alongside trainers in the world of Pokemon Go, have joined forces to devise a way to catch them. Please wait for future announcements to hear all about their research. Now, I wonder, I do wonder here, this is just a little bit of a theory on my end. I wonder if the roaming form is un uncatchable in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And the only way to get the roaming form in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is by trading it from Pokemon Go. So you have to catch it in Pokemon Go to get it into your copy of Scarlet and Violet. You're gonna be able to get the chest form in Scarlet and Violet, but not the roaming form. And that would be something that I could see potentially happening. Just a theory, remember that. But that is all the information that we've got on the Pokemon itself. Very cool. I like the, the reveal, the final reveal of it there. I wonder if there's anything else on the home screen. It looks like there is not. Uh, just the Pokemon Go, it will link in 2023. So it looks like it'll probably come around the same time as home compatibility. Yeah, you can see. Uh, you cannot send Pokemon from Pokemon Go directly to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Support for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is expected to be added to Pokemon Home after the game's release. Please wait for future announcements on this. Very exciting that we get a release and it came to fruition. We guessed right yesterday, which is good. I would expect that we're going to get a trailer at some point this week. It'll be the final trailer that they're going to do before the games drop the week after. Because the week after is when the games drop and I don't expect us to get a new trailer that week. I think this coming week is when we're gonna get a new trailer. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because we will try and go live if I can, if I'm not actually in work. Otherwise, we will cover all of the information as soon as I am able to on the day it happened. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of Gimme Ghoul.
I love it. It's probably going to be one of the Pokemon I'm definitely looking out for in my playthrough to have add to my team and definitely one of my favorite new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you found today's video useful. If you have, drop a like, sub to the channel, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. So until then, friends, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>